Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic in Komodoville. It has been a long time, and I have a couple builds for you guys today. Now, I do want to apologize about the past week. Uh, if you didn't catch, I've been, or I've kind of started to post videos again. I don't want to say I'm fully back. Uh, I posted two uh, My Summer Car videos the past couple of days, but I am somewhat back into the YouTube groove. Uh, I do, like I said, want to apologize for the absence. I've got some things that are kind of going on that I need to take care of, but we're back. We've built something really cool here today. We actually have two things. We have the KTM Expo, and we've got the All-American Krispy Kreme Donuts here in the town. So we're going to go over these two items here today. If you guys have any ideas for town builds, comment below. We are still going to move on to another themed map, kind of like the prison or the NASCAR track. I still do want to do uh, something like that also while doing these town builds. So anyways, folks, let's go ahead and we're going to jump straight into these creations. All right, so the first thing we have here, and I want to thank Mr. Scrubmaster for helping me out with this car. This is the KTM Expo, and I kind of want to say this is a loose replica of it. This is not an exact replica. I had to take some liberties here because this is a really, really funky car. And I just recently saw one of these, and I never knew that KTM made a car. I always thought it was just like motorcycles, but they do have a car. It's called the Expo. I don't know how many of these things are actually in production, but they're really neat. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. It's like an off, well, I don't want to say it's an off-roading convertible, even though they do have some off-roading versions of this. I think it's more like a street car, or it can kind of be used as like a track day car. But it's a really neat looking car nonetheless, and I wanted to try to recreate it here in Scrap Mechanic. Now, yes folks, it does use mods. I've stated before that I like to try to keep my town map vanilla, but if I need to, I will use mods on a vehicle. So this won't be in the download, you'll have to go to the workshop in order to get this KTM Expo. But yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. It's got a very unique design. It's suspension is not like the real life suspension. The real life suspension sets kind of sideways up here in the top and I just didn't have enough room to try to replicate that. It was hard enough to get the tires to clear the wheel wells here. So you've got that. It's got this little convertible look. I have seen some off-road versions of this car where they use even beefier tires, but uh, I don't know. I, I think there's just so many different variations to this car. Like I can't picture an off-road version of this being very safe without them adding some sort of cage to it. So you've got that, you've got the exhaust back here. Uh, the mods that I'm using for this are most of the Durf mods and the exhaust mod, which I'll have to look up the creator's name on that. Uh, it's one of the extra mods in the uh, workshop. So it's a uh, really cool looking pieces here. I like the back end, I like the front. It's just, I don't know, it's a neat car. So we're gonna hop right in. Uh, one thing I do love, and Durf and MJM, and I, I forget the other two guys' names. I think it's, uh, I want to say something like a Shino Vision. And I'm probably saying that wrong. And I believe Grego all kind of go in together with all their mods now. Uh, they recently came out with this sci-fi mod, and these seats are absolutely fantastic. It's got like a cloth kind of a look to them, but it's got this hard shell around it. And they make for really good driving seats, so... We're gonna hop into this. Uh, yes, the door does work. I guess I should demonstrate that. So you can hop into here. There's only two buttons here. You've got the uh, door and you've got the lights. So you've got the front headlights and all the brake lights. So as far as the way this thing drives, it drives fine. It actually is one of the better turning vehicles here in the town. And I was really surprised because of the amount of clearance I have in the wheel wells. I was really afraid this thing actually wasn't gonna drive that good. Okay, so one thing you're probably going to notice here when I'm driving, uh, yes, it is still really bouncy. Scrap Mechanics got a couple test updates out that I think reduce this, but I am not playing in any of those test updates right now. So you do still see that bounce on the concrete. Uh, I might want to try one of those out, though, because I think that might actually help this whole situation. Uh, hopefully it's really going to help with the NASCAR track, because that's one thing that's kind of stopped me from building onto it. It's the whole fact that it's kind of unraceable right now. So I will try out one of those, but definitely a neat car. You're probably noticing if you follow this commercial district uh, series, you'll notice that I have added some roads here. We've got some new intersections. Uh, I'm still debating what I'm, on what I'm going to do here in the middle. You can see I've started a lot out, but 
it's kind of an awkward spot being in the middle like this. So we might do like a city park and maybe some extra parking up there. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. So yeah, we're going to put away the KTM Expo. Like I said, it is going to be on the workshop if you like to download it. It drives really quite nice, takes turns really good. And like I said, I do want to thank Mr. Scrubmaster for helping me out on that. But let's go check out that Krispy Kreme Donuts. So I know this is a weird combination today, doing the KTM and then doing a Krispy Kreme Donut. Normally I like to build a building that actually goes along with the vehicle or vice versa. Uh, when I'm doing these kind of town builds, so I know it's a bit weird. Uh, if you're wondering where we are in the town, we're by the custom shop, the movie theater, and you can see the movie studio across the uh, way there. Uh, we're going to expand out this way. I just got to find what type of buildings I want to actually add here. So, the Krispy Kreme Donut. This building actually looks fantastic once it's lit up. I'm actually really proud of the exterior and interior of this building. Uh, we're standing on the lot here. This thing's got plenty of parking. Uh, as you walk back here, it does have a drive through You can see the little window over here. You can go around the building. This is an employee entrance. Come around here. Here's the actual drive through window. This all opens up. And you can swing out here. This is the exit to the building. You can see the do not enter sign here. And the entrance is down over there. So we've got that. You've got your handicap parking. There's two actual ways into the building itself. You're probably wondering why the doors are propped open. I'm trying to eliminate as many bearings as I can here in the town. So by doing that, I've actually eliminated the bearings for the entrance and the exit on most spots. I know it looks a little odd that they're propped open, but this is all to help kind of make it to where we can do this as long as possible. So. Anyways, it is time to light this building up. Let's go ahead and walk into the inside here. I don't, I really don't want to actually show you the interior until we actually light it up. So let's walk through here. Let's close this door. Okay, so we've got three sets of lights. You've got the kitchen lights, uh, that's exterior, and then the dining room lights. So let's go ahead and look at the outside real quick one more time. You can see the side lights there. You get the lights over the entrance. Makes it look a little bit brighter. So let's go ahead and walk in, and here we are at the Krispy Kreme Donuts. This building is probably one of my favorite interiors that I've done for any style of restaurant or anything shop-wise. I really like what we've done here. So I took a bunch of the uh, pictures of the interior design that I can find of Krispy Kreme Donuts, and they don't really have a strict, I would say, design that they use. Uh, it seems like a lot of the stores are pretty different from each other. So one thing that always happens in Krispy Kreme, and this is kind of one of their signature things that you can do, when you walk in, you can see the donuts being made. They always have like this big glass area that lets you look back into the kitchen, which we'll go over that here in a second. Let's go ahead and close the employee door here. So you've got that, you've got some of the donuts on display, and yes folks, I know our donuts are square. We're unique in Scrap Mechanic, that's the way we do it. Uh, also, the pipe pieces. I could have tried to use the round pieces, but they don't have a mounting point to weld down, and I needed to weld it down. So, our Krispy Kreme is very unique. We have square donuts. So, you've got your pink donuts, your chocolate donuts. I guess the pink ones, I don't think they're actually strawberry. I think it's just like the flavor of, uh, or I think it's just an icing color. Uh, I don't know what the flavor is. Maybe it is strawberry. You've got that, you've got your glazed donuts, and instead of donut holes, we have ducks. I know, it seems kind of cruel. So you've got that, you've got some menus up here. These are the two cash registers, and you've got the little cues right here. Over here, this is just another display with some more donuts, uh, different various sweets. Uh, Krispy Kreme, of course, is all about their donuts. Uh, they serve coffee. It's morely all about breakfast. I don't really know if they serve any other food besides that. Maybe they do like breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that. Uh, maybe in like a biscuit egg sandwich. But I could be completely wrong about that. As far as the dining area, you have plenty of area here to sit down. You've got a couple of these individual tables. We've got some mounted up to the walls. You've actually got some booths over here. And it seems like a lot of the Krispy Kremes have like a little bar area. So we've got this along this wall here. You can sit down, enjoy your donut and coffee, kind of look out on the town here. Not much of a view on this section here. I think it's going to be pretty neat once we eventually uh, kind of wrap roads around this and kind of make some more blocks here. 
But yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, one thing that I did change up in this building, you notice that I mounted the lights up in the ceiling. A lot of buildings are like this. They're always, they always have their lights actually up in the ceiling tiles. And of course we don't have a tile or at least a appropriate looking tile block. But I went ahead and mounted the lights up in there. So there's a gap between the ceiling and the actual roof. And there's this bar that goes across and then you can see the lights are mounted to it. So it kind of, I would say it kind of disguises them a bit. So you've got that. I think it's time to walk behind the counter here and go check out what's going on back behind the scenes. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. We are back in the kitchen area. I tried to make this as detailed as possible. So we've got the starting area here. You can walk into the employee entrance. You've got your light switches, a little fire extinguisher. This is the area where the uh, customers get to watch you actually make the donuts. Uh, this wouldn't necessarily be the starting point, but we're going to go ahead and start here anyways. Uh, this is the big fryer. You can see the oil down there. You've got our square donuts that are going to go down in the fryer. They're going to be lifted up, they're going to go on this conveyor belt, and I do wish I could have made this conveyor belt work, but that would have been a lot of bearings, and I think that would have lagged a little bit. So, they're going to go up here, they're going to go under these little guns, and that's the glaze right here. So, they'll glaze it, they'll go up this conveyor belt and fall into this little storage area. I've got a little heat lamp here. So yeah, you can uh, change out these glazes here. You've got a couple canisters along the wall here. You've got the strawberry and the chocolate. Uh, a lot of the signage here is just going to be your health and safety and employee rights and all that. I just kind of wanted to put some stuff on the wall to uh, make it look a bit cluttered. Over here, this is a huge fridge. It's loaded up with the different doughs. You've got the ducks. Everything that's ready to go be fried or baked or whatever is going to happen in here. You've got some of that, you've got some storage, uh, random boxes and clutter. A lot of the, uh, once the finished product's done, you'll see them put them on these racks, I guess, to cool. So we've got some of the racks back here, you've got a table over here to, I guess, maybe knead the dough. I think a lot of this is done by machinery, I don't think a lot of it, maybe they actually make the donuts by hand, but as far as actually mixing the dough together, we've got a big mixer over here, so you can click that. I know it kind of works opposite the way you would see a mixer work. Normally the uh, the handle here turns, or I guess the, I don't know what it's actually called, but that should be spinning, but it doesn't actually look right when you have it spin, so I made the actual bowl spin. So you've got that. This is the uh, employee entrance we saw earlier. Go ahead and close that. We've got another little area over here. This is more heating area, storage. Uh, we can walk back here. You can see behind the uh, where they display the donuts over here. Uh, this is the drive through and cash register. You can open that up, serve your customers. I know a lot of you guys like to role play, so I think this would be a neat building to do that in. Over here, you've got your coffees. Uh, they probably have various flavors of coffee here. Got all the mugs stacked up. You've got your menus. You've got some of these menus are actually mounted on the back of these pipe pieces. And oh, I missed a piece on the roof. I'm going to have to repaint that. That bugs me. All right, so we'll fix that. Uh, you've got the menus up here. You've got some back here. Uh, you can see the displays, and not everybody wants to drink coffee with their uh, donuts, so we do have a fountain drink machine over here. So you can stand behind, you can serve the customers as they come in. Pretty sure, I've been to a Krispy Kreme like once, and it's been a long time. They normally only stick them in really busy areas, and these places are absolutely packed. So I imagine you need at least two cash registers. This might still not be enough for these places. But anyways, that's about it for the kitchen. I like the way it came out. Now, I didn't mount the lights up in the ceiling like I did in the dining area. I just stuck them on the wall in here because I didn't really think they were necessary to mount up in it back here because this is just where the employees are going to be and working. Uh, it doesn't have to look quite as nice. But anyways, that's going to about do it for this episode of Scrap Mechanic Town. If you'd like to download this map, I will have it linked in the description. The map itself shouldn't need any mods. Now the vehicle, the KTM Expo, will need mods, but that will be on my workshop. I will have that linked in the description along with my Steam group. If you'd like to join that, you kind of get the latest updates and when I post videos and when I post stuff on the workshop. So if you'd like to join that, that will be linked also. But anyways, folks, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support as of recent. If you have any ideas, like I said, comment below here for the town or for an extra map that I'm looking to start up soon. Now, I will go back and wrap up a couple of my builds. The prison has one more episode. I need to wrap up the NASCAR track and the Monster Jams arena. 
So we're going to do that. We're also going to do our viewer creations episode. I've still got to do one of those because I've got a lot of stuff that I need to go through. You guys are absolutely fantastic about sending stuff to the channel. Now, one last thing I do want to point out about the channel. You do notice this video is being posted. It's 9 o'clock my time or 9 a.m. Uh, that's going to be our new normal posting time. I know I kind of switch it around sometimes. Sometimes I'll do like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But I'm going to switch everything to 9 a.m. That way I'm as consistent as possible for you guys. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.